Hello everyone, it's me, Train. Today, I'm going to be playing one of my favorite video games of all time, Xenoblade Chronicles. Hello. And I forgot to mention, today I will also be taking my little brother through the various tropes of the RPG genre. Okay, so before we begin, Robbie, you're going to notice something very consistent with a lot of RPGs, but mainly Xenoblade Chronicles. The music. The music is almost often mediocre or really good. It's very rarely just straight up terrible. This falls into the really good category. And also the loading times. The loading times can get really, really long. That's inconvenient. It's like buying a game, but whenever you want to get on, you have to wait an hour before you can actually play. I have no argument. Long ago, the world was nothing more than an endless sea, cloaked in a boundless sky, reaching as far as could possibly be imagined. Then two great titans came into existence. It looks like uh, when they're fighting in Power Rangers and they just got super big. That is a Bionis also and the very common trope within these games. Really big bosses. Very tiny, very tiny people you can fight. Titans were locked in a timeless battle. They were locked until they until weren't. At last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Eons have passed. Now, our world, this vast land stretching across the remains of the Bionis, is under attack from a relentless force known as the Mechon. Yeah, these graphics are super amazing. Well, my brother, it may seem like that to you or me, but to a PC gamer, these graphics are like, they're, they're pure Retreat! pixels. Retreat! I don't get it, but apparently that, that's what this is. Get away from me! Retreat! No retreat! The unknown! No! No! The mechon in this actually look a little bit like that crab bad guy from Power Rangers, right? Or is that just me? It's just me. Anyways, look, it's the Monado boy before the Monado boy. They're advancing down our weak right flank. For a bunch of soulless machines, they seem to know a thing or two. But we'll that see. is another trope. Soulless creatures in this seem to be some of the most intelligent. Young man, we've been given the order to retreat. We're pulling back the line to Colony Six. That's where we'll set up the last line of defense. Yeah, that's a good idea. Any more time spent hanging around here, and we're done for. Count me in. We gotta get out of here. Or we can stay and fight. What? Another trip. Ah. Insubordination is almost always we may respected. We die if we take a stand here, but staying gives us the chance this to change our destiny. I don't know. We have the Monado. With this, the future is ours for the taking. Stupid beast. Your body can't take any more of the Monado. I can tell by just looking at you. Getting short-sighted in your old age, Dixon. I'm fine. Don't worry, I'm still in control. Hmm. I should have known I couldn't talk sense into a beast. 
Let's do this. I'm a gun sword? I'm going with you. Awesome. You someone to drag your no, no, as long as you think you've still got the strength in you, old man. Well, I mean, it is a gun. Why, you two? We've been ordered to right. pull back. I'm leaving. Well, I say you're coming with us. What would we do without those? <sighs> the enemy's second wave is approaching. It's now or never, Dunban. Let's show them what we've got. We'll give them a warm Homs welcome. Acknowledged. Yeah! Ha! What are they trying to prove? I'm not throwing my life away! No point dying Oh, as he's a bad guy, field. isn't he? Nothing Where would it. you possibly you get that idea? A decoy. Yeah, that should give me time to escape! <laughs> The introduction always manages to teach you the controls in some way. Also, it may look like it, but no amount of moving backwards from the enemy will actually cause you to dodge any attacks. They attack, you get it hurt. I mean, you can change your aggro. Oh, yeah, that's trope right. number three. Characters will almost always say something to your attack. I don't know what, but they'll say something. Annoying buttons? I don't know what to think about that. I'm, I'm genuinely not sure what he said right there. Maybe. Maybe. Anyways, beat all the robots, so yay. How does that guy always manage to look constantly? It's their main That's force. A very special art. Looks elements. like the mech on a hell bent on taking us out. They'll have to be if they want to beat us. Now, let's even the odds a bit. You heard him. Dixon, Munka, let's do this. Ah! Another thing, the abilities used in cutscenes are almost always ten times more powerful. You see, he is literally one-shotting these things. One last thing, if you sacrifice your life for someone, you're almost definitely going to survive a traumatic injury. Tumban! You alright? Oh, what does it look like? I'm still good to go. <laughs> Guess even a hero's gotta reach his limit eventually. Monka! What are you doing? That way is... Sorry, brothers. Hate to drop this on you, but it's the Manada no, they're after. No, they're, they're not So have fun keeping them occupied for me. I'm getting the hell out of here. Mumka, you dirty. Now, don't worry. I'll organize your funerals. <laughs> well, see you, boys. Wait. Huh? Uh. If this is a joke, it ain't funny. 
Looks like this is it. At least we know our luck can't get any worse from here. Dumban! Dixon, take care of the survivors! Dumban, what are you playing at? <sighs> Those idiots! I'll just come and get them an auto when everything's quiet down a bit! That thing's gonna be mine! Right, he was evil. Sure, buddy. Very good. Oh, oh no, please! No! Vile Mekon. If you think the Hobbs, the people of Bionis, are just waiting here for you to pick us off, you are sorely mistaken! I just noticed something. He is the, one of the only people who's actually capable of killing the Hobbs. So that means they really only have one defender. So when he dies, that means, yes, they are essentially being made to be picked off. I think I said that right. A Mechon M71. I bet I can use its optical system to align one of the anti-air batteries. Oh, no good. It's broken. The joint section. It's buckled. It's completely useless. Ugh. I get it, Shulk. When everything seems to be falling apart around you, just just take a little falling down on the ground. Huh? An M69! <sighs> its armor would be perfect for making a shield. If I can just... Get it off! I should be able to... Ah! Ah! Shulk! Ah! Ryan! It's not a Mechon. It's just a Crabble. It was using the Mechon armor as a shell. I'll lure it away and top it. When it's down, use your arms to finish it off. Alright, Robbie, so, Shulk has a variety of useful abilities that make him pretty much awesome. There's also the healing stone, but that, that's not very important. Okay, so, something cool about Shulk, he has the ability to do really good damage, and he also can heal people. This makes him seem almost important, right? Wrong. He takes an excessive amount of damage. Because he has a very, very, very small amount of health. We can definitely do this. We got through that pretty so good. There's great. great does literally nothing whatsoever. It's very useless. Nah, it's just great. The only thing Break can do is allow for another, another ability. Is that the same monster or is that, or is that a new one? Thanks, Ryan. Pile. That was a close Power one. Pile sounds Man, what like are you doing a pile wandering off by yourself? Doors. Stay where I can keep an eye yep. on you. It's pretty dangerous outside of the colony. There are all kinds of monsters. Yeah. But thanks to you, we got its shell. Everyone in the colony is going to be really happy. Are they brothers? I'm more worried about you than the shell. No, and I'm not fully positive that she'll even have a house. At this point, I'm not sure. 
Sarah, this scrap drive is excellent. Kind of thinking he's I just learned by watching Dixon make weapons. Of course, Dunban's weapon still beats them all. The Monado. I hope I can figure out the secret of his power one day. You will, Shulk. Anyway, we better get back to the colony. If I'm late for drills again, old Square Tash is gonna kill me. Square Tash? Oh, the Defense Force Colonel. He's pretty scary. Tell me about it. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. Now, Robbie, here is the most amazing thing. Whenever you defeat a monster in these games, there's a pretty high chance that you're going to end up just, just taking one of their body organs. Because... They like stealing body parts from bad guys. Very strange habit. Are those blue things fairies? Does he fairies? Nope, nope, Robbie, get that out of your head. They are not fairies, they're just random particles on the ground. That are things that you give to you. We can definitely do this! Almost there! Wow, down! We win! Still stay up here? No? Anyone? My brother, we are now in the greatest place in the universe, Colony 9, located on the Bionis' foot. What's so good about Colony 9? Because it is Colony 9. Great. That helps. Here we are. It is Colony 9, brother. You're off to the weapon development Everyone lab. loves Colony yeah. 9. When I've sold any parts I can't use. Alright. Another reason I love this See game, I think like Shulk. I'm not, I'm not even kidding, I just, I genuinely understand everything this boy's doing. Well, we are now in the commercial district of Colony 9, which is like the place where the people give the other people money, because money is what is required to have a successful economy. And even video games have economies, apparently. Economics. Yes, Robbie. Economics. Yay, we have enough money for the nine cap. Anyways, I think that's a good place to end the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.